Hi folks, Bear Prepper here. Uh, this is going to be another quick uh, SAFE Act and general gun news update. Uh, there's not a lot going on in the SAFE Act. Honestly, it's just a lot of news stories being printed about it, but there's really not any movement on it. I mean, we're in a kind of a holding pattern waiting for uh, the appeal to move up the line, and then uh, you know we'll see when we get to the next court date. But as New York State has shown, it is going to use the taxpayers' money to delay and put off the court case as long as it can each time and try and bankrupt the organizations bringing the lawsuit. So uh, if you do have, um, if you're a gun owner, support the Second Amendment, or you support consti the Constitution in general, and you have any extra money, make a contribution to the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association, the, the um, uh, Rifle and Pistol Association, whatever it might be in your state, or to the NRA, because these things require a crap ton of money. And despite what the media says, this the massive lot of money is coming from the government, where you know the NRA has to use its limited resources. That has a lot of money compared to you and me, but it doesn't compare to the government. It's got to use those resources to combat the government in government courts, and that takes a lot of time and money. So, uh, first off, Governor Cuomo, in his state of the state address, I told you that he was touting the Safe Act as something great. He said, uh, in his exact words, were it has made a difference. It has, if you count, if you mean it made you drop 15 points in the polls, yes, it has made a difference. In terms of saving lives, which I think is what he was talking about, that it has somehow saved lives in this state, uh, you know, my only response would be to steal a line from the outlaw Josie Wales. Don't piss down my back and tell me it's raining. All right, I'm kind of on to you. You, man, Governor Cuomo. It's a good thing I don't live in Albany because somebody might be getting a punch right in the face, if you know what I mean. Not a big fan of that guy at all. Uh, secondly, one of the assemblymen in the state who voted for the SAFE Act, uh, one of the you know public enemy number whatever, you, you add the number in there, Assemblyman Dennis, oh, I'm going to mess this guy's name up, uh, Gebrizak, it's G-A-B-R-Y-S-Z-A-K, he is resigning. That's good news. You know, we have a motto, the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association said, another one bites the dust. We have that motto every time one of these guys that voted for the SAFE Act gets out of there. And this guy's resigning. I mean, he's a real stand-up guy. He cares about the children. I mean, why else pass, you know, vote pass the SAFE Act in the dead of night? Uh, but apparently, uh, not real good at not sexually harassing his uh, aides in his office. So um, he actually got, is getting the boot for inappropriate exchanges, uh, meaning he was trying to put the wood to a bunch of people uh, that were working for him that were aides and, you know, interns, whatever it was. Good job, buddy. Keeping up Slick Willie's uh, proud tradition there. Um, Anti-gunners are protesting in a shocking development. They're gathering in Newtown to protest right before the, the start of the, the NRA show, the SHOT Show. Uh, they're gathering for a protest. Should be a huge protest. I mean, let's face it, the anti-gun folks can really turn crowds out. I mean, they're looking at upwards of tens of people are probably going to show up to this thing. And as usual, as they did last year, I'm sure they'll show up the protest outside the SHOT Show. That is some of the funniest video footage I have ever seen when they were taking, they kept going out and talking to these people that, you know, the media was like trying to portray it like they had a bunch of people. And there were literally like 8 to 12 people protesting in every one of these videos that somebody got. There's nobody shows up for these things. And the media tries to pretend like they've got hundreds and hundreds of people, just like when, you know, uh, 36,000 or 50,000 show up in Albany, and then the media pretends that it was 10,000 or maybe 12,000. Um, you know, it's just nonsense. They they want to push the idea that that the the general citizenry is in in support of what they want and and against what they don't want, and that's just kind of it's usually the opposite. So that's really all I got today. I'm gonna have, I got five channels. This is I'm combining this with my uh, Monday shout out video, so I don't have to do this twice. I want you to check these channels out. Um, really good channels. I looked at all of them today. Uh, PBT channel. It stands for Point Blank Tactical. This guy's a friend of Jarhead 6. But I have a theory. You see, there's there's people that look like me that you look at you go, I don't know if that guy could really defend himself. I think I can, but, you know, we'll see in, in an SHTF scenario. And then there's guys like the dude from the PBT channel. This guy looks straight up like a bad you-know-what. I'm telling you. This guy knows what he's talking about. He's got great technique, just like Jarhead does. Give his channel a, a look and tell him Van Prepper sent you, please. He's getting tons of people coming. Everybody's sending stuff. 
uh, Marine. I don't know if he's current or former Marine. It doesn't matter to me. You served this country. Uh, you've been in Iraq. He's been in Afghanistan. Great guy. Lots of knowledge to drop on you. Check out his channel, please. Next one is Live for Wild. Everybody kind of knows Live for Wild, I think, in my circles. But I don't know that I've given Live for Wild a shout out yet. And I didn't want to mess that up and miss. You know, I was just looking through and I'm like, I don't know if I get a shout out for that guy. Check out Live for Wild's channel. He's got some really good stuff on there. This guy's got a lifetime of experience of, be, you know, working and being in the outdoors, hunting, fishing, whatever it might be. Um, just a wealth of experience for us to draw on. Check out his videos, please. Uh, the next one is Willie O. This is a guy just getting going, okay? But check out Willie O. Um, he's a young guy, but that, you know, sometimes we think somebody's young or their channel's new. They don't know what they're talking about. Check out his channel. Uh, you know, give him some support. Tell all these guys, Van Prepper sent you. If you don't, if you're not subscribed to him, check him out and subscribe. The next one, Dearborn Prepper. I'm going to put links in the description of this video for each one of these, but I'm also going to put annotations on the video so you can see the names. But just click on the links in the description. It's a lot easier. Somebody said, I like your videos because you give the easy button in the description. You just click on it and go right to their thing. So check out Dearborn Prepper. And the last one is Stevenk or Steve, Stephen K, 1965. Look how I butchered that one. Uh, S-T-E-V-E-N-K, 1965. And somehow I thought that was Stevenk. Excuse me. Forgive me, Stephen K. I, I'm assuming that is your name. Check out his channel. He's got a lot of good stuff on there, too. Um, I am Van Prepper. That's my gun news, my SafeAct news, and my shout-outs for this Monday. Happy shooting, guys.